The Bay of Bengal is set to witness the formation of the first cyclone of the 2022 North Indian Ocean cyclone season. When it intensifies into a cyclonic storm, it will be named Cyclone Asani, a name given by Sri Lanka which translates to wrath from its official language, Sinhala. But why is it named Asani? First, we must understand why cyclones are named in the first place. As per a decree issued by the World Meteorological Organization, each cyclone must be named in order to avoid confusion in the instances where multiple cyclones operate in one location. Now that we have that out of the way, we can discuss how the naming process takes place. Meteorological centers and tropical storm warning centers from around the world are authorized to issue advisories and names of cyclonic storms. India Meteorological Department is one such center. It is tasked with giving a title to a cyclone that forms over the northern Indian Ocean. In fact, it also advises a dozen countries in South and Southeast Asia, in addition to India, including Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, UAE, Saudi Arabia, and others. The latest compilation published by the IMD in April 2020 consists of 169 names. Each country offered 13 titles. The 169 names are then placed into 13 lists, with each list consisting of at least one submission from every country. Here are some criteria for cyclone naming. They must be neutral to gender politics, religious beliefs and cultures. Once a name is used, it will not be repeated again. The word can have a maximum of eight letters. It should not be offensive to any member country or hurt the sentiments of any group or sect. Names from India that have been used so far include Gati, Meg and Akash. The cyclone that will form after Asani will be called Sitram, a name given by Thailand.